And our standard engine has a compression ratio of 18 and a cutoff ratio of 4. Let's write that down. Sub K is 18. Or sub 4 is, or sub C is 4. If the intake air pressure and temperature are 100 kPa and temperature of 20 degrees, 27 degrees C, which is also 300 Kelvin, find the work in kilojoules per kilogram. So we're actually trying to find the net work of the process in kilojoules per kilogram. And of course, since this is air standard, we can assume our specific heat ratio is 1.4. And here is a diagram of the diesel cycle, which you should have memorized, since it makes things a lot easier. Anyway, we know that the cycle efficiency is given by the network of a QA, and we know that QA is simply the mass of the diesel times the specific heat at constant pressure. And of course, our temperature difference of T3 minus T2 because the heat addition is occurring here. Right. M simply be becomes 1 because we're trying to find the answer in per kilogram basis. CP of diesel is 1 kilojoule per kilogram Kelvin. So we really just need to find T3 and T2. If you remember, the relationship between temperature and pressure is given by this. And since um, temperature is inversely proportional to volume, it becomes inverted like this. And also, since the process is not a straight line, we need to put a K minus 1 at the volume there. And we also know that V1 over V2 is simply R sub K. It's to K minus 1. We know our K, we know our R sub K. We're also given T sub 1, so we can actually find our T2. So that would be T1, 300, times R sub K, 18, K minus 1, 953.3 Kelvin. Now we can actually do the same for T3. If you remember, Cutoff ratio is simply P3 over P2. And since it is directly proportional to temperature, this is T3 over T2. Now, this is a straight line, so we don't need to put a K in either of these um, variables. And we also know that P3 over P2 is simply R sub C. We know that, and we also know T2, so we only need to multiply T2 by 4, and that is our T3, 3813.2 Kelvin. Now we have both of these, so we can find our QA, M is 1, CP is also 1, and of course our T3 minus our T2, correct, yep, what does that give us? 
kilojoules per kilogram. Don't forget the per kilogram. Okay, so we now have QA. Now um, the hairy part is getting what E is. Um, I don't know how to explain this, so I'm just going to write it down. 1 minus R sub C raised to K minus 1 over K R sub C minus 1 again. And then the reciprocal of 1 over the compression ratio raised to K minus 1. Let me just check for a moment if this is correct. And looks like it is. Yes, it is. Okay. So, what the heck is this thing? <laughs> well, we could do a whole derivation of this, but we're here to answer the problem as fast as we can, because we only have six hours to answer every single question in the board exam. So just trust me on this. Okay, so our R sub C is 4, is 1.4 minus 1, and uh, K is 1.4, R sub C is 4 minus 1 again. Compression ratio R sub K. And uh, k minus 1, this is 1.4, just 1. Okay, that looks correct. Let's make sure that it's correct. Because even I have trouble trying to memorize this absolute mess of an equation. <laughs> One over eighteen raised to one point four minus one, and since the uh, since this is a diesel cycle, rather, our efficiency usually falls between fifty five percent, or rather fifty percent and sixty percent, and we can never have an efficiency of almost a hundred percent. So. Something went wrong in this equation here. Let's just check uh, real quick. 0.4 minus 1 R sub C. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this um, spot here. It's supposed to be raised to 1.4 minus 1. And there we have it. E is 0 0.5. Five, three, one. Now we have this as well. So to get our network, simply need to multiply QA by A. QA is 2,860 kilojoules per kilogram. And this is our A, 0 0.5531. Let's verify if this is correct. And looks like it is. Our work net is equal to 1582 kilojoules per kilogram. And that is our final answer. I hope this helped you. Um, consider supporting the channel on Patreon or by liking and subscribing. And I will see you in the final batch of questions I'm doing. I will probably upload another batch in a couple of weeks from now. And so yeah, bye.